All right, it's been a bit because codes got wiped, so I had to wait a little bit, but we're back again. First up, we have got Anna Bap Game from Sleepy here. Now, you all remember Sleepy was from the Smurf bullying game where the Doomfist and Anna were just like hard bullying that Mercy player. Sleepy was the one who submitted it. I never really got to watch them, so uh, I feel a little bit bad about skipping them. Also, I enjoyed the rainbow profile that was going on over here. So I figured we'd give it a second shot. So, Catflats, there was no one being held hostage today. I have two King's Rogues games for you. Pick one as I would like to keep a mystery of which codes were provided for our which games. I feel as in both games, our team and the enemy really had their pop-off moments. I recently have been going back to playing support again since it's been the final season. Rest my my failures, but these games are Smurf free. I promise. We'll see about that. Uh, I have a, about half hearing in my right ear. Oh, so, okay. I feel like there's a reason you included that. Um, all right. Sleepy. I'll be real with you. That's a good skin. That's a very, very good skin. I'm gonna give it a. I don't have so many good skins. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it an S tier. All right, here we go. Sleepy thousand SR so on a slash bap on your own king's row. Let's go. Let's see. How long is this game? 21 minutes. Oh, this is gonna be a juicy. All right, it runs Sim Diva rhyme. Oh, they, look at that. Chat, you notice something? They already have the comp. They have the Arisa right. Wait. Did I hear a pin? What is this psycho doing? Yo. Hello? Whoa. Whoa. Actually, you just got rolled. Hold on. Okay, to be fair, you probably have... They had years to line up that shot. Also... <laughs> Man, this rank's a treat. I never... Never really could totally understand the thought processes going on there. Uh, okay, Sleepy. Number one, I don't know what sensitivity you play at, but it's, like, very jumpy. I don't know. It's, like, the opposite of what smooth is supposed to be. Also, the aim is not all there, but to be honest with you, you should have died like six times by now. Uh, it's just, it's just bronze, so like, yeah, okay. Uh, n note to self, uh, you're playing Ana. Don't, t don't, you should not be taking the TP onto the statue and then jumping into the enemy team 1v6. That's just, that's just, uh, death. Okay, not bad. You did it again. Okay. All right. At least you stayed up here this time. I've heard of an optimistic sleep dart. What would you call that? I don't even know how I'd use it. What's the, what is the word stronger than optimistic? Being delusional? You don't have to be up here anymore. I promise. You can, you can actually drop down that. Uh, I mean, I guess it kind of worked out staying up there, but I, I mean, I guess that would have been better than going on the point, but I wouldn't have told you to go on the point anyways, but one, you get away with two, he's a shitty habit. I appreciate that you're not deluded and, 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 and are like, oh, you know, I deserve higher rank. You know, you know where you are at and you know where you're at skill wise. But the sleep dart delusion is going to need to be fixed. Because how are you supposed to save yourself? You're in bronze. You have no help. Stop s stop sleeping randomly across the map. You don't got the mechanical skill for it. First off. Second off, you you're not going to hit it.
Do I look like a fucking joke to you? There's a, there's literally a full health fucking shield. You, you see that thing? You see the blue thing? You see that blue thing? Actually, in game it's red. You see that blue thing right there? Stops your bullets. That sleep dart does about five fucking damage. Stop. Where are you going? No shot. You're gonna die to a random skill orb. Also, new uh, small, small, small PSA uh, to anyone. If you're sneaking around in the back line, one, you shouldn't be jumping around. Two, you probably shouldn't be throwing your splash on a grenade that makes noise off the wall in front of you. Okay. The potential here is so strong. Like, when your team walks up, now you gotta time it, right? Your team needs to walk up, and then you throw a nade at the people behind you, and then sleep the Rhine, okay? Sleep the Rhine, throw a nade at the shield, uh, the, the people down below, three-man nade, and a sleep dart, you can win this fight. But will you panic and lose it? Don't, don't do it. Okay, step one. I, I feel slightly responsible for this because I always see the Tord Tart's the best player on the team. Uh, so maybe that's why they're focusing the Torb Turret, but like, just like a little more patience. Just wait. Just let them walk in. Just let them wa let your team walk in a little bit more, and then you can do it, and you'll pop off. Also, standing like in the mid. What is happening? Did you just get sucked? You just got sucked to death. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a small piece of advice because you know. The, the Smurf game early, like from that last video, I kind of feel a little bit bad. I, I, I actually don't want to see you fail. Uh, so I'm going to be a little bit nicer to you. But like, let, let me tell you, when shit hits the fan, like, hold on, wait for it. So shit's kind of hit the fan like right here, right? This is where shit kind of hits the fan. Why the f do you jump off the safety of your high ground? To jump into the you want to see what that looks like you you've literally traded sides you're playing for the enemy does this picture look good to you because i got an answer for you so you're going in trying to hit all your cooldowns and like pew, 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 but it's like just sit on high ground just sit there just sit there and shoot things if you're not confident in your aim then work on your aim anna is a spy <laughs> yes so don't worry, but don't worry about your Genji. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Just let him. He, he chose that path. Also, you are now sleeping there, Rhine, a lot, which is good, because that's what you should be doing. Because it's the easiest sleep in the world to land. Your Rhine is gonna die. You gonna go help him? I actually, I, I'm more amazed that the Torb didn't kill him. Okay, this is. You know, like, you ever seen a deer, like, standing in the middle of the road? You know what that looks like? It's, I'll give you a hint. It looks a lot like this. This is exactly what a deer, standing in the middle of the road, with a car coming at it, looks like. The level of panic is scary. Like, listen, listen. You had, like, two seconds to throw a nade, shoot him, had the, if you hadn't missed the sleep dart earlier, maybe you could have slept them. There's like a million things you can kind of do. And instead of locking up, do something, you know? Also, is that soldier above you? He is. Okay, you gotta call, call for some teammates, call for some teammates. I'm not mad, I'm literally just disappointed. What? No, no, why? Okay, I was mad you missed, but you gave up? Why did you give up? Dude, dude, come on! No, no, you're too nice. No, no, I'm sorry. FPS games are not for you. I'm sorry. Like, I, I hate to be that guy, but but FPS guy, F FPS games, you need to have some bloodlust to play FPS games. Look. I get he's faster than you, right? But look what he's gonna do. He's gonna turn this hallway and gonna beeline for this fucking mega. Walk in behind him and shoot his ass. It's great and all your team won the fight, but 
Like, you weren't even there. You know? Like, I think that's one of the most important things to think about as a support player. Especially if you play with a support player that also plays a main role support. Like, especially he support players will think, oh, I must go heal. Nah, bitch. You don't have to always be going to heal and do shit. Because, like, realistically, like, your brain is telling you to go back to the team to go heal them. But, like, you genuinely got nothing done doing that. You're gonna go for the flank sleep? Please tell me no. Okay. I just want to show you this. I know what you're going for, but you know what horses are like? You know how, like, on horses they put the blinders? Dude, I can see the blinders right now. They're literally only around the ride. You can't see anything else. It's not a bad play, but you're not getting what you I actually wanted, fire. and you're not patient. Listen, what? don't panic, okay? You got so much time. You got all the time in the world. Don't f***ing panic. Because what you've done now is you've used your sleep, and your nade on one target each, and your team's like not even really pushing yet. So their Moira is gonna chase your ass down and suck. Never mind, she left. She went the other way. But realistically, you probably should have died. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. A lot of times, confirmation bias is people will see a dumb or a dumb play will happen, and people will look at it and they'll go, "Oh, but I but it worked out though," or you know whatever. It's like. Mm. Yeah, I mean, sometimes that's true, but like 80 to 90% of the time, that's more because they f***ed up, not because it was good. That's a good example of they just f***ed up. I know it's bronze, so I'm not going to be too hard on you, but um, way too much standing in the open. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, I forgot. Just play... If you ever want to climb this tank out of bronze, just play D.Va. Every, every like, three minutes or so, whenever you get your ult, it's just a free team wipe, so... Uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Okay, another 3k. So you're having a hard, you're having a really hard time balancing damage and and, and, and heals because you always heal or you always hear from people that you should be balancing it. So you're trying to do both, but like you can tell you're like stun locked kind of. Also, aim trainer definitely wouldn't be hurting here. A little early on the lamp? A little early? I mean, it's fine. At least you used it. That's way better than most people in this rank. Like, like realistically, this is actually, like... This is actually pretty good. Um, uh, your biggest flaw is timing and, and, and mechanics. Like, this is one of the few times I'd actually say mechanics might be hurting, holding you back. Except that. That's kind of dumb. Um... But I think the reason you run into the, your own team for help and protection is because you're so not confident in your... There's another one. You're so not confident in your own abilities to hit shots. No way this is bronze. No, it is. Confirmed. I had them in a different video as well. This is confirmed to be bronze. 100%. I would, I, I'd actually say I, I'm honestly being hard on you. I'm genuinely being hard on you, like, for mistakes. Like, harder than I should be. Um, but it's because you actually have a pretty good understanding of the game in a lot of ways. You still make a lot of mistakes, but I wonder if you actually make more mistakes because your mechanical skill isn't good and you're not confident with it. This is the perfect equivalence of a, a even a broken clock is right twice a day. That was a beautiful sleep, but the whole point of what I was trying to say earlier is you're gonna miss that so often it's not worth doing that's one of those cases it's actually not that bad as long as it's off spawn unfortunately it was 13 seconds into the round and their Ryan is now charging into your back line that's the difference that's the difference so let me say again I am being exceptionally hard on you at this point uh, because genuinely this is not bad I think your biggest thing holding back is mechanical skill. Heal your cast? No? Okay. All right, sorry. Let me, let me correct myself. The biggest things holding you back are mechanical skill and your cooldown usage. Cooldown usage can be fixed with patience because if you learned that sitting there and waiting an extra few seconds is way better than just hitting all the buttons as fast as you can, you'd be in a lot better of a spot. And mechanically, if you were actually able to hit more shots and more of your sleeps, and not 
panic, I think you'd actually be in an amazing spot. This is a perfect example of like, you're panicking, you're panicking, you're panicking, because you don't think you can turn and win this fight. Especially, especially low ranked players, especially low ranked players get really scared fighting Moiras. And that's why like all like the stupid like TikTok comments, like, yo, if you ever want to know if someone's a real casual or not, is like you ask them, do they think Moira is OP? Most of the like really casual bad players will tell you Moira is one of the most broken characters in the game. Why? Because you can walk in and start doing damage and you don't really even have to be hitting them. But Moira only does a small amount of damage that's consistent over time. If you stand in there and actually fight her, now the orb is a little different, the orb will do a lot, but if you actually stand in there and fight her the entire time, if you have good mechanical skill, you'll beat the Moira. You'll absolutely beat them. But then she just fades away. You still won then. She fades away and runs away. You won. You lived. Even if she fades and runs away, you lived. That's the point. <clears throat> As opposed to... Oh, of course, of course your Moira did that. Um, hmm. Um, excuse me? I know you nano them to save them, but you just nano to... May to solo ult a Moira? Okay, that was a nice nade, I'll give you that. Nah, I haven't seen a nano mid. Ah! 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 You disgusting bastards! You're running double shield on King's Row in bronze? We nuke the game. Like, I'm not joking, just. I'm under I kind of hope you lose now, actually. Not your fault, but like your team's fault. You know what's funny? The amount of people that, that always shit talk me in like comments and videos and even streams sometimes. I play Ryan, and they're like, oh, Ryan, he's, going okay. he's actually not that good. Well, I play fucking Ryan against double shield. You know what happens when the average player plays double shield? Or plays Ryan against double shield? This is what happens. You hit the big slam, and then you fall over. You're dead. So, in those cases where you got nowhere to run, you might as well run to your team and hope for the best on a shield. But, realistically, that's more of a positioning issue. You're literally a thousand SR. I actually think you've got way better positioning than most players in this rank, so. No, don't do it. Run. 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 No, not this way. Run, run away. Oh, you're dead. Wait, your warrior might save? Maybe? I don't know if I'm more proud that you lived or first off, I just want to point out this guy's name is J Nose. And um that might have been the most J3 pulse bomb I've ever seen. And I understand what you're going for with these sleeps, but they don't do anything, so, like, just, just don't do it, okay? And that's genuinely, like, higher-level advice. Like, that's genuinely not something I'd really be telling, like, a normal bronze player, but, like, other than your mechanics and your fear and, like, li like maybe lack of confidence, like, this genuinely isn't bad. It genuinely isn't bad. I'd, I'd rather you attempt those sleeps than try to sleep across the map and miss. Like, even if you hit it, it's not that big. Uh, uh, I don't know what the hell that just came over me, but Hello? Also, are you guys gonna have to hold for three minutes? My god. Wait, 
Wait, you have... Wait. Oh, you guys have Bastion double shield? You guys are... You guys are the worst. You guys are actual... the Like, the actual fun police. Okay, that was kind of dirty. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty good. Uh, I'll give you that. That was... See... You see, if you sleep, if you kept your sleep dart more often and not shot it across the map, you, you have more December opportunities for that. Will be shield base. Why are you shooting the shield over them? Like, okay, so you know you hear like you hear like ML sevens and your car cues always say like do damage as like a support, as your support, not a healer. That's true. Um. But shooting shields is, like, kind of not in that territory. Like, when you can be healing up and topping up damage over time, I feel like that's way better than shooting Rhine shields. Like, you don't do enough damage to a Rhine shield to really be effective. Like, if there's nothing else to do, sure. But, like, your teammates were taking damage. You could have shot the Far of Mercy a little bit more, even though when they went back behind cover. There's a lot of stuff. But, like, I'm also being exceptionally hard on you right now. I'm being exceptionally hard on you for a bronze player. Like, realistically, but I genuinely don't have a much else for you. It's not like you're, you're not really trolling. It's like more or less just like frustrating little things, you know? Yeah, this is like 1000 SR bronze, which is like low. Like, it's definitely better than where they're at, I would say. Um, sorry, I would say they're better where they're at, like, game sense wise and like what they're supposed to do uh, but mechanically it's their probably the biggest problem mechanically is i would say arguably the worst problem like almost by far also by the way for those who don't know the maximum way to do efficient healing is to heal shoot it's sort of like left click heal shoot heal shoot heal shoot heal shoot is the most way to get the most amount of heals uh, to do the most effective method, period, it's heal, shoot, shoot, heal, shoot, shoot, heal, shoot, shoot, and you'll be doing the most effective uh, EPM that you can do. So, if you're doing a lot of just heal, 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 shoot, 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 heal. So it's like, if you actually wanted to mid-max it, you do heal, shoot. I'm sorry, if you're mid-maxing and you're taking a lot of damage, it's heal, shoot, heal, shoot, heal, shoot. If it's poke in the beginning, it's shoot, shoot, heal, shoot, shoot, heal, shoot, shoot, heal. Shoot, shoot, heal on Baptiste. <clears throat> mm, okay, this is a decent spot. My only problem with this spot is if you... If your team falls back into that left... That back corner, which in bronze, I don't think they're really gonna. I think they're just gonna stand there and die. Uh, but if your team falls back, you're gonna be cut off up here. And you're basically dead. Or not helpful. You gotta go pretty far to be helpful again. Okay, this is a good nade. Also, I feel like I'm being way more helpful in this one, but I think I just... I have just, like, residual... Mm, the sleep darts. I have residual, like, feels bad about, uh, that... the previous smurf one. So, I don't mind. Uh, your diva's dying. Nothing wrong with scoping in. Scoping in's actually, like, really effective, and you should scope in a good amount. Um, mix in some quick scopes, though, and also, like... You gotta be a little bit more aware that, like... Your teammates are dying. And normally it would be fine, but your mechanics isn't that good. So, like, you have a hard time hitting the first shot. Also, you're gonna use that nano. Not like it was the biggest problem there, but... Yeah, I would say mechanic... If you got your mechanics together a little bit more and were a little bit more confident, you'd probably be, like, in a lot better spot. Because, uh... You definitely are held back quite a bit by missing your first, like, two to three shots a lot of times. So, not bad though, not bad.